fall is very like sitting at a coffee shop and reading a book and not even realizing who's around you. I just spent like the past maybe five minutes trying to squeeze everything behind my back so you didn't see how messy it was, but it is actually terribly messy, so. Hey besties, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing an October wrap up and showing you all the books I read this month, which isn't a lot, so I'm squeezing it in with a November TBR. I have a lot of plans for November because I started a book club with my bestie and we decided that we're gonna read a book and then like get together and chit chat about it. So I'm definitely going to finish this book. But let's get into what books I read this month. I'm actually squeezing in a little bit. I am doing a September slash October reading wrap up because I did not film one for September because I read one book, one single book. But that book was five stars and this is The Trouble With Hating You. I love this book so much. So reading one book in September, but it's it being like one of my top books five star is literally everything i loved it so much it's so relatable and it's so real raw and honest and there's just not a way to describe this book without being like you have to read it and experience it for yourself i'm speechless every time i think about it because it's so like close to home i think that's a good way to describe it it's just so close to home with every experience i have growing up like the family dynamics the immigration the just like being a POC, it's all in this book. The conversations are kind of fierce, but I really like that about this book. I feel like it really shows like a not perfect family because I feel like a lot of time in romance books, it's always like the perfect family, but this one isn't. I love the enemies to lover aspect. Like that is one of my top three tropes. And so having it in this book and just like all like the experiences that she goes through and like they experience as like South Asian families and like characters, it just, it's the perfect book like it made me tear up it's so warming but also heartbreaking all at once it's just everything let's move on to October I kicked off the month with an audiobook and I listened to Rafe which is a buff male nanny book it sounds so silly to say like I don't know why saying like buff male nanny but that's I think that's what the book is like a series like it it says it on the book I don't really know what like part of it because I don't think it's the series name but it just says it on the book and I giggle every time I listened to this on audiobook I think I vlogged it in one of my like reading vlogs like read what I read in a week it was okay I gave it like three stars I think somewhere like three and a half or three I say now I would give it a three because it's not memorable at all I remember it being like super fast paced, super insta lovey. It's about Rafe and I don't even remember the female character's first name, but she has two kids. I think they're twins and he moves in to basically just help her and be a nanny and they kind of have this like instant attraction the moment they meet, like even the pre prerequisite. I don't think that's the right word, but basically they were hanging out kind of as a group before he became the official nanny because she wanted to to see how he acts with kids and like just really interview him starting then the moment they met they just formed this like attraction to each other and he made it clear she made it clear but they were like let's not do anything on it because the kids like you're here to be a nanny like it just happened really quick so it wasn't my favorite I also feel like with insta lovey books there's just like nothing to I don't want to say look forward to but that tension and that stretching of like when you get to the end and it's like oh my gosh they're finally together it was also just really predictable because everything that happened was very cliche and tropey alpha male protective that's why he's a nanny she of course has this like ex-husband that's just like not a great character so I feel like everything was kind of set up to be very predictable next up I read sinner which is the second book to the priest series and I only have Priest with me because I sold Sinner. <laughs> this is so weird but I bought the book Sinner and so I used to have it and then I decided to listen to it on audiobook and I was like you know what I think having an audiobook is fine like I don't need the physical copy and so I sold it to my local indie bookstore which buys books and you get a gift card and then you can buy more books. I said single book, but I mean books, so plural. But it's kind of just like this cycle of new books, old books, new books, old books. I sold that book because I was like, you know, I don't need it. And then I ended up enjoying the audiobook a lot more than I thought. Like to me in my head, I thought it was gonna be like a three and a half stars maybe, 
like at the most but it ended up being like a four stars and I kind of like like it a lot so I don't have it anymore <laughs> but funny enough with the gift card that I got when I sold Sinner I bought Priest and this is the indie version so it's not like when it was picked up by a publisher it has the male model cover and it's just very like indie which I love this like version of print because I think the new update one is like flowers on the cover which is like okay but I think I prefer this one so I'm kind of glad I sold Sinner because I had the publisher version and so I'm gonna try to look for the indie version it is a very spicy book very taboo as you could probably imagine from the pre series but it is about Zenny and I don't even remember his name Sean. Sean and Zenny. So Sean doesn't believe in God in like the beginning of book. He very is just like to himself, like a businessman, a player. He hooks up with a lot of women and it's just how things go. Zenny is on her way to being a nun. She's very devoted to God. And so they kind of have this like meeting at a business party, I want to say. They just meet at a party and he's like attracted to her and he tells her exactly what he wants to do. And he later finds out, like, I think the next day or, like, in, within that week, that she's on her way to being a nun. And Zenny is actually his best friend's little sister. Which is, like, plot twist. He did not recognize her when they first met because the last time he's seen her was nine years old and now she's, like, 22. And so that aspect is also really taboo. It's the pre-series. I There's just really nothing else to say to it. Very spicy. Like, I think I did not expect it to be as spicy as it was because I was like, whoa, like, this is a lot. But it ended up being really, like, cute in the same way. Like, I don't remember a lot of it now, so that's why it's, like, a four-star. Like, it isn't five stars outstanding. Like, I will be buying this book as soon as I can. But it was, like, good while it lasted, and I had a fun time. It was entertaining. I remember especially loving the epilogue. I think, like, them just being, like, nine years in the future or something like that or a couple years in the future it was just like very special to see that is all i read for september and october but i did want to show you my currently reading because i'm halfway through and so i feel like i read a good chunk of this in october october was a slow reading month but september was even slower so Anyways, this is Wildfire by Hannah Grace. I went through loops and hoops to get this book. I wanted the Target exclusive, but they were sold out on the day it came out, which is October 3rd. I couldn't get my hands on it, even though online it says it was in stock. It's a whole different dilemma. I went to Barnes and Noble and I was like, you know, I really want that bonus chapter. And so I actually ordered it online and here it is. Now moving on to my November TBR, I have a grand stack next to me. Kind of overwhelming, but I know I'm going to finish at least one and I'm definitely going to read The Inheritance Game. I've heard endless things about this book. Like it's very popular. It's a book talk YA favorite and I decided to form a book club with my besties. We're taking turn picking books and so I was like, oh, for my first book, like I got to pick first. I don't know why she let me pick first. Like that's so sweet. I decided to pick The Inheritance Inheritance game because I had a copy and she was waiting on Libby to get it and so she just got it so now we can totally start regardless I'm super excited to read this it is about Avery and I think Grayson and Jamison I think that's their name but it's two brothers and a girl and basically the two brothers grandpa had passed away and he's rich he has this big inheritance but he sets up a house full of riddles and mysteries and he invites Avery over who is not a rich girl she doesn't come from a rich family he's like solve these riddles solve these puzzles and basically you get the inheritance so the two brothers want their grandpa inheritance and she also really wants it because she doesn't come from a lot of money she doesn't have a lot of money and so it's kind of just like a battle between three of them but of course when there's two guy one girl a love triangle and I know Linny is not like the biggest fan of love triangle specifically with love triangles of two brothers and one girl or like you know when there's siblings involved she thinks that's so weird which when I think about it like true like that is very strange like in the end you're having the same type as your sibling or like it's a little weird like the summer I turn pretty like they have the same type but regardless I'm really excited to read this for our little cute book club and just like chit chat about it I have a lot more so don't you worry but two of these books or like a bunch of these books in here are series yesterday I went to the library and I got a manga series because I saw that it was brand new and so 
they had one two three like the volume so i was like okay let me just check out the first three and give it a try i haven't read a manga in so long i think the last one i read was spy x family and i ended up not completing that like finishing it off i'm moving on to a different series and this is insomniacs after school i absolutely have no idea what this series is about except for insomniacs after school so it's probably kids who can't sleep and what they do in the nighttime. i hope to read this series because i think the cover is absolutely adorable next up i have the magnolia park series and the full collection of it with the new covers they haven't come out yet but i already have like these two books because they were sent to me it's so exciting so i have daisy hates and the great undoing and then magnolia parks the long way home i'm so excited because this whole series was sent to me by the author and so just to have it in my hands i'm like oh my gosh i need to read it now but also there's so much hype about this series and these books and so i really want to give it a shot so I have Magnolia Parks, and then I have Daisy Hates, and so you've seen the rest of the series. I don't know why I'm going through it again. If you haven't heard about this book, it's described as gossip girls, rich kids in London. There's bad boys and just like really messy dating lives and a lot of heartbreaks and a lot of money because they're just intensely rich. There's a lot, and I feel like it's drama-filled, and I don't know. I just think it's perfect for fall because it seems, I don't want to say cozy, but it seems like a book... I I could get lost in and just like devour it and I feel like fall is very like sitting at a coffee shop and reading a book and not even realizing who's around you. Last book on my TBR is Losers Part 1. This is like one of Book Talk's most spicy book. Like I remember when I look at a list of like spicy books, this one is always on there and this is also the indie published version which Never mind, I don't think it's picked up by a publisher, so it's all indie published. But this one, super taboo, super, like, check your trigger warnings before reading. Very, very taboo, and just like they do freaky stuff. I'm excited for that. I, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, we are at the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy. I hope you got some new books from my TBR or my wrap up. I feel like I read pretty good books, so definitely take them in. Let me know what is on your November TBR. I can't believe we are at literally just a couple months away from the year ending. I don't even want to think about it, so that's that. <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy, and I'll catch you on the flip side. Peace. Love you guys. Subscribe.